scale for um, quad attachment. So um, I'm just gonna go over a couple things and then also to show you how to fold it, unfold it, all that kind of stuff, ins and outs, and see how it works. So it um, folds up pretty nicely, you can hold it one-handed. Um, there is the similar latch that there is on the double, um, and then it just pops open like normal, clicks to lock, unlock. And then there are two C-type clamps and then one middle um, clamp that has a little notch on it. So you just attach the sides and it clicks together. And then you take this bar here, attaches to the belly bar, clips on the double and it clicks in. So that should be all set, all good to go, all secure. Um, so use the foot brake obviously. Um, for the double to um, um, stop it from rolling and start it from rolling. So uh, on the quad attachment, it still has the two sunshades that are fully, um, they're the full sunshades. So this is the normal standard height or length, I guess, whatever you want to say. And then again, it unfolds, it has the one, two, three panels, and then also two folds to the four panel and it goes all the way forward um the double did not the double attachment did not come with the belly bar uh, you use the belly bar that comes from the double on the belt on the front of the quad if you want i don't have it on right now because it's um pretty flimsy with the chewing and my dudes will chew the foam off so um again that is the sunshade um it comes un uh, assembled you have to assemble the sunshades and make sure you put the right one on the right side, the left one on the left side. So, um, the seat recline for these, let's see if you can see this from the side. This is the standard seat recline. There's a bar here so they don't go fully reclined. It has the similar um, adjustment straps that the back seats have. So, it's a push tab and then recline. So, you can see it doesn't recline as far as you'd hoped. Uh, and for reference, here is the back seat that folds or reclines fully so it's not quite um, as deep of a recline as the front seat and the back seats but it still works and it's still somewhat of a recline um let's see it has the same mesh basket it's it's basically the same exact thing as the double but it's obviously has no back wheels and no push bar so um it folds the same style it folds the same width I guess um, and it's of course the same um, same width wise this way so let's see what else is there about this guy it also has the peekaboo um, mesh on the top um, these there's no there's no folding for these like there's the um, the clip on the double or the, uh, so for ventilation in the back there isn't any on the um, the quad attachment um, so it's just, if you need the ventilation, you kind of just pop it up. Um, I don't know if you can see this on the quad attachment, but it has these bars here. Um, and that's what the sun chain goes around. Um, what else? I think that the straps are the exact same. It still has the um, three space adjustment um, on the quad attachment. Um, the front wheels are the exact same as the front wheels on the double, where they, um, let me switch this back a little bit so you can see. There we go. So it has the locking wheels um, where you can, um, you have to turn them here, push to lock, and then they stay straight, but it's really kind of a hassle to keep them locked. So um, it has the same crotch strap, the same exact um, buckle. Everything is basically the exact same as the double as it is for the quad attachment. Um, okay, so tape measure here from, um, let's just say we'll do the handle to the, the wheels as far as I can see. Um, it looks like it is about, let me see if I can get this, just an estimate. Probably about 52, 53 inches from front to back. Um, the quad attachment itself sticks out about two feet, I'd say, 24 inches. Um, 
so it's really not that big of a, a footprint, but it does, it, when you're pushing it this way, it does seem like it's very, very long. Okay, so now to detach the stroller, um, front half from the back half, there's little red tabs underneath the belly bar handle. So you're gonna pull those two tabs and lift up, so then it's kind of, just goes up and down. And then for the attachment itself, there's a little lever you can pull. So you pull that lever and then it just kind of goes forward like that. Okay, so there's gonna be these little red tabs on the side here. So there's one on each side. You're gonna lift those or unhook those each. So I'm gonna put this down for a second. When it comes off, the whole bar should be movable like this. And then you see there's a center bar or center um, attachment and then the two on the side. So this one in the center, there's gonna be a latch underneath it. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, you put your hand underneath and you can kind of, um, oh gosh, you pull it forward like that. So that comes off and then the whole thing just unhooks. Okay. So you have the two center pull straps again where there's a little lock symbol, unlock symbol. Uh, and to loosen those, you just obviously pull them up, fold them in half, and then there is a clasp on the side uh, and you just lock it up. So I will leave this here to compare the flatness of each of the pieces. The locking latch is for some reason it's on the left side of the stroller on the double and then it's on the right hand of the side um, for the quad. Okay, so now here's a comparison of the two pieces kind of folded flat. This is the quad on um, my right hand side and then on the left is the double. So they, like I said, basically look exactly the same um, and they take about the same amount of space. 